<sighs> okay, I don't even know really where to even start today because I'm just kind of like tripping the fuck out and that's what it is. Now, you guys know for years I've always supported AMD as the underdog. They were always fighting against the Nvidia thing, but the thing that AMD always had was they had lower prices on all of their stuff. You know, and that's just how it was. We all went to AMD. If we didn't have the money to buy the higher end stuff, we went to them as our budget stuff and we've been doing that for years. But my question of the day is, is AMD actually going to remain the budget king? Because there's just a lot of weird stuff going on. Now, I told you guys in my fanboy video that just blindly buying stuff without knowing how well it does or anything completely destroys, completely destroys competition. I mean, the Vega card came out. I don't know what you guys think, but in all honesty, I mean, it, it, was, it was pretty good. It was not exactly what I thought that it was going to be. And I based all my reviews off the prices that we were told the cards were, you know, when we did the card launch. Well, it's kind of funny because a few days after the review came out, the prices went up. And if you go out and you look, you can't pretty much find any AMD card in stock right now. Now, some of this obviously has to do with mining, but a lot of it just has to just buying stuff. Like my friend Mark, and we'll have the scores for this from, from, his, from his channel on here. He bought the liquid cooled version of the 64, 1300 fucking freaking dollars. It's nowhere near as fast as a Titan XP. And even at its extreme rates, it does beat a 1080, but let's just face it. $1,300, you can get a 1080 online for less than 400 bucks if you look around there. People sell them used for 395, 450 bucks, but definitely you can get a 1080 for much cheaper. Now, another thing I want to address here is a lot of people are asking, you know, hey man, were those scores that you were doing right? The 64 bit card is actually doing worse than the 56, and yes, it's true. The MSAA does not seem to be able to be handled whatsoever on the 64-bit card, the 64 obviously, and the 56 does actually does better, the Vega 56, because it actually handles it better. Now, there's been a lot of weird scoring with stuff. I kept shaking my head too. I yelled at the guy who does my testing. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? This shit can't be realistic. Like, how is this card beating it? So we talked to some other sites and we talked to Mark from Babbletech Reviews and like, yes, it's true. In a lot of instances, the 56 actually can beat the 64, and that's just the way that it is. But the thing that blows my mind is that none of these cards are in stock anywhere. They raise the prices, and now you can't even get one of these video cards anywhere for any low price. So if you're expecting to hop into an AMD card to do your system and expecting to save money or be on a budget, no way. So I have to say right now, as far as the VGA side of things, AMD is no longer the budget choice. Now, they may put on their card as a retail thing some price, but you're seeing everywhere out there that these cards are expensive as hell. Now, I know there's some guys who say they got really lucky, you know, they walked into a Best Buy. Well, I've walked into a bunch of Best Buys trying to find these cards and I can never find shit in stock, or believe me, I would buy a couple more myself just to have them here for reviews, but you can't get any of these cards. Now, is AMD purposely not putting the cards out to the market? Or is it just that people are just sucking these things up for no reason? Because if you're just a gamer, why would you not want to get yourself a 1080 Ti at this point, since the Vega 64 can't beat it, and you can get a liquid cooled one for much cheaper than $1,300. So Mark went out and he spent $1,300 on this card. And I was just like, wow, dude, really? 1300 bucks well, he's like well you know i didn't get sound from amd i want to have a good one so i he bought it but just imagine that man 13 i think it was even more than 1300 dollars with tax and shipping and all that crap i think it was even more than that that's a lot of money though for a card that will not be the titan xp liquid card which you can get for around the same price i think they're about 1400 dollars on average but if you look around i've seen them as low as 1300 bucks especially around the same price as this and we're talking about something that has more performance so i'm really just scratching my head all around right now on this amd thing now obviously when it comes to their cpus the market seems to balance out right there we kind of know where they're at you know they have more cores are they beating you know some of the older i7s no they're not and when you know and we'll see when the next generation of intel cpus gets here which is in about a month or so we'll see how it actually does against those releases now obviously we know intel fucking stepped on their dick on this last launch and i think if you got them in a room they'd be like yeah all right we just threw this scrap out there you know because they're really waiting for the next generation of cpus and i've talked to a lot of the people that make manufacturers of motherboard and stuff and they all tell me that the next gen shit is badass. So I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, I did buy a 7820 and a 7800, 
We just actually got them in the other day and I'm waiting for my motherboards. We bought those just to have them to see what they do. But AMD on the CPU side of thing seems to be, you know, pretty balanced out. But when it comes to the GPUs and, and video cards, it's just outrageous. And really the thing that ticks me off is I really don't understand is why they raise the prices a couple days after release. I mean, everything in my video was based on the fact that, yeah, it could beat a 1070 and it was at a better price point than a 1070. Well, now it's about $100 more than a 1070. So does my review that I made, does it even mean jack shit anymore? Honestly, I feel like my review's fucking irrelevant now because I based it on performance versus price. So in essence, AMD, you've kind of made me a liar, man. Not, not appreciating that. Been following you for years and helping you out, but now you made me and a bunch of us other reviewers, you've pretty much made us out to be liars because you raised the price. And I'm still just like wondering what the hell is going on with stuff like this. AMD at this point right now, for me, I do not feel that they're like the budget leader in the video card department. They're just not. Every one of their video cards right now is fucking super inflated prices. I mean, I guess this is really due to everybody out there doing different kinds of mining stuff. That's what, you know, everybody is claiming, you know, is what's up. But is it really that? Or is it just a short of, of GPUs being put out to the market? Forcing a crowd of, of fans who want these cards to pay the price just because they can't get a hold of them. You know, like it's like the lost diamond of Sahara to get an AMD card. Well. I'm not gonna pay those high prices. And you guys spoke when I did my last video and I put an AMD video card in there and all you guys did was bitch, unsub, and leave me nasty notes about how fucked up I was for using this $349 video card in the system, you know, the 570. You know, I listened to you guys and I brought you know, the 1050 Ti system to the board like you guys wanted, but the whole thing is though is that those prices and all that stuff have nothing to do with me. Tech of Tomorrow has absolutely nothing to do with AMD's high prices. And I chose that video card because I thought you guys who are the hardcore AMD fans would want to see this system of the 1200 with an AMD card in it. But that really didn't seem to be the case. There were really a couple of requests from people who were like, hey, you know, use this other card. But pretty much across the board, the 1050 Ti is what everybody said would match that system perfectly. So at the end of the day, what are we going to do if the CPU side of things from AMD start becoming the same way? Just going up, going up, going up, going up, video cards going up. And will NVIDIA, when they release their next generation cards that supports totally the same type of things that AMD is doing as far as the mining goes, how will that shift the market? When they do that, will AMD cards no longer become like that lost diamond of blah, 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 blah? Or will they just begin to be something that balances out the market? Like usual, I wanna hear you guys' comments below. But right now, I'm just, I'm kind of really angry about the price raising. I'm sick of the price gouging and all the weird comments going around to it. I should be able to go out there and purchase an AMD card at the price that they listed at launch. You know what I mean? When they release the 570, I should be able to go buy a 570 at a 570 price. But can I? Hells to the no. They're almost $400, even more expensive in some cases. So it's just gotten crazy. I don't know if AMD is in, you know, sorry. I don't know if really AMD in the future is going to be the budget king anymore because the way things are trending, AMD right now is getting more money for their video cards that actually have less performance than their NVIDIA counterpart. And that's just completely, utterly crazy. At the end of my day, when I go out and I buy something with my money, I don't care whose name's attached to it. All I care is it's the absolute best performance I can get. And since that's not really happening, we're seeing something that we probably really haven't seen before ever in history, where hype actually supersedes reality, and that's how it is. So peace out, I'm Elric, you guys have a great day. We've got a lot more stuff coming up with Vega, a lot of testing coming up with my friend Mark from, uh, like I said, Battletech Reviews. So we got a lot of stuff we're doing in conjunction with him. We'll have a link to his site down below if you wanna check out his stuff. He strictly does writing stuff where I strictly do videos, so we're kind of a good combo. And uh, we got lots of stuff coming, so stay tuned to Tech of Tomorrow. Peace.